Hey boy, Coach Rice again, and today guys, I'm doing an anime review. Ah, so my review is to Dance with the Devils, episode 6, guys. And before we get into it, sorry guys, I missed the last review because, um, I didn't, I wasn't fitting up to it again. So, yeah, like I said, I did say I expect that quite a bit, because like I said, uh, um, like I said, the anime for me comes out like, very late, so it gets me. I get very tired. I got. I did perform my arts as my career, as my at my college now, and yeah. So anyway, let's get into the main review of Dance of the Devils, of episode six. Now, if you have watched last episode, um, um, basically, sort of ties in with this because now, Riska fully now aware that. Basically, pretty much everybody's been lying to her. Pretty much. And also, that finally that she had to accept that Rim and the rest of them are devils. Except for the other guy, we find out who's a foreign angel. Yeah, in this episode, we find out the other guy who, you know, is quite mad, mad in sort of way. And a bit of crazy. Um, who, like, somewhat likes pain and killing stuff. You know him? We find out he's a foreign angel. Yeah, we find out he's a foreign angel. Now, he comes a big role in this episode because he goes to Ritsuka and tells her about he knows her mother is. Now, so far, to me, I believe that he sort of does know where his mother, is, her mother is. But yet again, I know he won't reveal it because I'm saying he's telling the truth or he's lining up because yeah, he's like he said, like I said, he's a fallen angel. Usually, those kind of beings don't really try to fully. Bring it and bring the information, but yes, in this episode he was able to show uh, Riska uh, basically her past. She was able to make her memorize her past by going through memory lane. Now, uh, uh, her, no, also in this episode, um, her friend was also with her through her imagination, through her mind, trying to memorize her with, with her. Now, we find out her friend is also ex, also an exorcist. Now we already sort of guessed she was an exorcist because there was a lot of times in this series that she was unaffected by what the devil's been doing and yeah so that means the only possibility is that she has some connection to holy beings or you know more like an exorcist which we find out she is now basically means she was being she's there for reason because she had the power of grim war but i don't know if she's just for that because she's the grim war possibility but that would be just too that's be just too harsh for Riska because, god damn, this series, this series is vet. Now it might start like all right, but then like, this series is dark. I was like, this series is fucking dark, like emotional, romantic, and very dark, dark, rom dark ho romance. This is dark romance, guys. If you're not a big fan of dark romance, this series might not be the best thing for you. But this series is a goddamn spooky, goddamn. Series that gives you intent to get your blood boiling to understand the information, what's going on. Now, and also in this episode, um, she needs to try to basically get grips between um, Rim and the others being like devils, fallen angels, and vampires and stuff like that. She's trying to get grips with it at the same time. Now, majority, um, like I said, in this, so basically, yeah. Now, again, music. Let's get into music before going to the animation. The music, guys, guys, damn, it's still great. The music is still great. Like I said, this series is a musical. It's a Disney anime. I have to call it a Disney anime because there's no deny it. This series, this series is what you might expect from Disney. Even though it's dark for Disney, can I call it this series what you expect from a Disney um cartoon, a Disney cartoon? Basically, this is what you expect from like them, because it has music, the animation quality, how it makes you feel between the characters. Yes, no, but just guys, this series is just a very good series that I do recommend. Like I said, I still recommend people who watch Disney who never watched anime in their entire lives before. Like, I don't know how it's possible because Pokemon, you stuff like that, like, kids for watching that's anime. But, if you have not watched anime in your life, or have watched some kid anime before, but never really got into like, the mainstream anime and stuff, I do say, go over my head, watch, um, Dance with the Devils. 
you know Tenneke I also recommend you should not watch it yet until you watch more anime because it does bring up some vibes that you more have, if you have watched it before you might have to, have to know it but I do say I do recommend this series to people who never watched anime but have watched Disney programs before because this series just gives you that Disney vibes I don't know if there's any more anime like that because actually if anybody who knows the other anime that are like somewhat Disney programs like if they like if you tell me any more anime that's like that leave in the description below because I'm interested because I've watched Disney programs like I remember Belle like like Beauty and the Beast Beauty and the Beast and uh, Little Mermaid and goddamn like other suits like uh, man the Lion King the fucking Lion King and not just on uh, uh, man just the old you know, the old classic the old classics goddamn from Disney but basically. I still say this series is good. This fucking series is good. Like, good, 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 good. It, it's tone and it's balance between the music and it's how it, how it, it's character development, how the characters act, how they, how, how they look and overall just, man, this music, the fucking music is good. God damn it. God damn it. And I like, like the reverse hair and part. I like the reverse hair and part of this series because usually I'm not really a, um, I don't really go, uh, most of these kind of series I usually skip. I was like, interested in it. I wanted to, I, I only just watched the first episode, that first start when I, and I just said, I might test it out, I might test it out, when I saw some good comments about it. And then when I watched episode one, um, wait, wait a minute, episode one was available and stuff before the other episodes came out. And I got me hurt because my god, the music! And the music, the musical theme to it, and the musical or Disney inside me just kind of boofing out. But anyway, no animation quality, goddamn you! Animation, good, good animation, fucking good animation. And between the music thing, like every single part of the animation looked very good in this episode. So yeah, hey anyway, guys, that's my review for Dance with the Devils episode six. If you guys like it, become chat fans today. If you guys are the same fan mail, the description below. My address is there, and yeah. Hope you guys like it. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys!